Hello, my day family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Mayday and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. Like this video for the YouTube algorithm as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Hola, hola. Como están, mi gente? Hope you guys are doing super good. It's a nice weekend. Sun's kind of shining in my eyes, so excuse me if I'm like kind of squinting, trying to figure out my life here. But anyways, so I'm really, really glad to be able to see another weekend. I'm really, really glad to be able to make another video talking to talking to you guys. Um, but that's something that a lot of people don't get to see, and that's something that a lot of people don't get to experience, right? Like the sun that's shining in my my eyes right now, and like the warmth that's coming from that, and feeling the breeze and the fresh air. Some people are never going to get to see that again. Specifically, the 10 people that died at the Travis Scott concert are never going to get to see or feel that again. And so I know you've all heard about this story and it's astonishing. It's one of the biggest stories and it's been going on for a while now. And so these celebrities are, they keep hoping that we'll forget because again, human behavior, human beings forget pretty pretty quickly, right? It's been proven time and time again. So they keep hoping that we'll forget, but this one is sticking around a little bit longer than the rest of them, as it should, right? I don't think this is something we should ever stop talking about. I don't think this is something we should ever forget. I don't think this is something that can be compromised, right? I mean, when celebrities do stupid things, like when Kanye West got on stage because um, he disagreed with Beyonce not winning the award, we, we, we will forget that in a few days, right? We, I mean, that's, that's what's the next news after a day or two, right? But when you hold a concert, you being Travis Scott, hold a concert where 10 people die on your watch, that's, that's not anything that we can compromise on. That's not anything that we're gonna stop talking about because that's outrageous. It's outrageous. And so I've had a lot of people ask me on my thoughts about that. A lot of people ask me what I think. So here's what I think on the whole situation with Travis Scott and Drake. Let's not forget Drake because he was there too. And from what I hear, from what I hear and what I've researched, Drake went to the strip club the very next day. And not only did he go to the strip club the very next day, he blew a million dollars at the strip club the very next day that this happened. And you know what? These celebrities are sending their armies out there, their robo armies, you know, because they have like companies that they hire of people that sit there and all they do all day is filter through comments on YouTube, Instagram, and they comment back and they say, oh, it's not their fault. So it's PR, it's PR, right? It, it's, it's, uh, it's marketing control. And they have companies and big companies that do that and sit there all day and do that. So they're not actual people. These are basically fake comments, right? And so I see a lot of these comments and I think a lot of them are fake, my opinion. But a lot of these comments that say like, well, how's Drake to blame? Why can't he go to the strip club the next day? What's the issue with that? Like, is that even a real question? I'm so confused as to like how anyone can even, I'm not even understanding that. How can that not be an issue? Let me tell you why that's an issue if you need me to explain it to you, right? That's an issue because it shows a severe lack of empathy and or sympathy that this man has, right, for any human life, especially life that was there to support you in your concert and your endeavors. It's just a gross negligence of it all. The fact that he doesn't care, right, the fact that he can't empathize with the struggling families that will never you know, get to squeak their eyes at the sun shining right down, right down at their face again. It's just the sheer coldness of it. And when you have someone like that, someone like that is not deserving of 
the fame and the pedestal that he's been put on. You just don't deserve it because you're not able to ex like exhibit the straight the, the traits necessary of a leader. Right. And to me, that's what it comes down to, right? These celebrities are put in leadership positions that they have no business being in. And so when people say, well, why does it matter? He can live his life. And I'm like, yeah, if that's the way he views it, then guess what? All that's telling us is that you don't deserve the job that you have. Because you're not able to empathize with people, with human beings. You're not able to adequately read the room, right? You, you're not caring. You're not what you try to sell yourself as being, right? And that's a problem. And so don't be surprised when people come for you and say, well, you're part to blame too because you were a part of the show. Appropriately so. It's the truth. Same with Travis. The, the sheer gross ne negligence and irresponsibility. He was golfing the next day. It's the same concept. I mean, first of all, I don't know why anyone would go to a concert that's like promoting um like evil things and the devil i couldn't do it you know I, I you know i'm a christian i believe in god and even if you're not a christian you don't necessarily believe in god whatever it is that you believe in hopefully it's not some evil presence you know and even if you think oh it's just fun it's just for fun you don't really want to be bringing that kind of energy into your life from my perspective so I would be too freaked out anyway but it's the same thing for him he clearly doesn't care about his audience clearly doesn't care about the people that buy his stuff so why are you in this position why are you in this position it's a position of responsibility and if you can't if you don't want to take the responsibility if you can't take the responsibility you don't care enough to take the responsibility then that is a position that you shouldn't be in and you shouldn't get to enjoy the positives that come with being in such a position, which is the millions and millions of dollars and followers and blah, blah, blah. You know, you are not leading our youth in the direction where they need to go. And that is a problem to me. That's a fundamental problem. You know, when you're golfing, you're doing this, so I just want to live my life like YOLO. You're obviously not concerned about doing the right thing. So that's my thing. I'm never going to forget this. Every time their name comes up, that's going to be the first thing that comes to my mind. Oh, the people that that essentially, you know, are to blame for 10 people dying at their concert. Yes, there are other people to blame, like whoever put the concert together. At the end of the day, these artists are signing off on everything. And so they cannot distance themselves by saying, oh, it's 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 the manager of the people that put the concert together it's all of you I'm sorry you guys i just got a message my phone rings all day so that's why it takes so long to put some of these videos out sometimes but hit the notification bell so you know whenever a new video comes out leave a comment below as to what your thoughts are like this video if you enjoyed it um, helps out the channel a lot and definitely subscribe and join the mayday family digital family, YouTube, YouTube family, um, if the, these are topics that you're interested in. But I digress, right? So they can't distance themselves from the responsibility that they, that obviously falls on them. Yeah, the management and all of them also have a responsibility and they're all also currently getting sued because you're all responsible. You can't say, oh, I'm not responsible, it was them. The last thing I will say about this for now until the next video because <laughs> I don't want them I don't want to make the video too long is the most irritating thing that I see is oh it's the crowds fault the crowds are pushing on each other it's like and I think that's coming from these celebrities I'm telling you they're paying all this money for all these fake comments and commenters and they're trying to blame the crowd it's insanity to me and I'm like now is not the time to blame the crowd. Now is the time to take responsibility for your peace. But they're trying to skew the narrative because they realize the situation has kind of gone above what they would like to see it go, right? So, um, yes, please, everyone keep in mind that these concerts and these places that are so heavily packed, it's not a safe place to be. So definitely think about it twice if you're wanting to go to a concert or something like that. Parents, please don't let your children... I mean, I don't everyone 
has something to learn from this. But as far as responsibility goes, first and foremost, it's the artist. And they know that. Your name is all over the place. So who else is going to take the fall for it? So you have to take responsibility, especially when you knew and you still didn't stop the concert. I believe they knew. I do. Anyways, I could go on forever on this. Thank you guys for joining me today. Leave a comment below on what you think. Los voy a ver en el video próximo, the next video. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.